edition of Quick Draw. Today we're going to be making the jump back to uh, Marvel Comics, doing uh, everyone's favorite mutant character, the Wolverine. Uh, just a quick reminder that uh, this account is not monetized and I really depend on your support. So if you like what you see, please remember to click like, please remember to click subscribe, and uh, let's get drawn. Alright, here on Quick Draw, as you know, we take your favorite characters and we draw them in 10 minutes or less. So I've got my stopwatch here, I've got a cup of coffee, I've got a brush, some India ink, and uh, some markers here. i got everything set up around me so I won't have to run halfway through and grab stuff. Here we go. Alright, start with just sketching in our uh, cross shape here. These are our guidelines, make sure everything lines up. Squinted, angry eyes. Most of this I'm going to be doing in the ink just because of the uh, massive self-imposed time constraint. Jeez, is it too late to change this to uh, quick draw, draw your favorite character in 20 minutes or less? Would that be cheating? And if so, don't I encourage? Okay, it's drawn a big, ginormous nose with flared nostrils. Um, I to keep reminding myself a lot of this I could just do in the ink. Uh, I'm just going to sketch in roughly a screaming mouth. It's really exaggerated here. Okay, teeth. All right. Well, this looks very, very scribbly, and the reason for this, well, it is not an illusion. It is very scribbly. Okay. A lot of this is going to be cleaned up in the inks. Now, I've used my face to, uh, to draw these characters for years and years and years, and uh, because of that, kind of on autopilot, I know where, like, this crease is. I kind of know where all the creases are. And I have the added benefit of being ugly as hell, which is going to work to my advantage here. So this is what I happen to think about Wolverine, is that um, I like Hugh Jackman as an actor. I don't care for the on-screen Wolverine portrayal. So for those of you who know what I'm talking about, Wolverine is... Let's give my wide open jaw here. About four foot three wide as a tank, ugly as hell, and hairy. He is not tall and lean and good looking, which Hugh Jackman is. Again, great actor, love, the, love all those movies, but when I think of Wolverine, man, I'm thinking of like, I want to see like Glenn Danzig in there, short, hairy, moody, brooding, ugly as hell. I say that as probably the biggest freaking Glenn Danzig fan you're ever going to run into on a beautiful Sunday afternoon. Or no, wait, today is Tuesday. Okay, I know this isn't looking like 100% like Wolverine right now, and that's because he is missing all of the Wolverine tropes things that make Wolverine Wolverine and not just a generic muscular character. And no, I'm not talking about the claws because we're just doing a head sketch. No, in fact, I already alluded to it. He's hairy, ugly. Okay, let's just go straight in with the, uh, with the inks here. We're at 3 minutes and 28 seconds. Alright, big, ginormously fuzzy eyebrows, squinted eyes, <laughs> big screen, Wolverine never really seems to be happy, he's always yelling at something. I need some Xanax. I'm going to give him a hint of fangs, which is kind of a cheat. Wolverine doesn't really have 
fangs per se, but when we're drawing someone, I mean Sabretooth does, but when I'm drawing someone who, who's supposed to look like the idea is he's supposed to look particularly savage, the whole fang things is uh, kind of a good shortcut. Okay, 434. You know, I could keep to this a lot easier if I just did pencils. Maybe you decide to do an entire drawing in 10 minutes with ink. Well, if we don't bite off more than we can chew, how are we ever going to grow as individuals? How are we ever going to learn, right? And if I'm going to bite off more than I can chew, I'd rather do it on a Wolverine sketch. Real danger of mixing metaphors in there, but I think you know what I mean. Okay, um, let's get into some heavy blacks here. And for the sake of time, I brought myself a brush. Why? Because this goes so much faster. Nothing to color all of this in with markers. So again, I'm just going to have the light coming from on top. So the mouth here um, is going to be shaded in. Big cast shadow under the chin, and yet I have left a hint um, of an Adam's apple. Let's have some big kind of veins coming. Oh yeah, that looks gnarly. I mean, if he's really screaming and he's got like a muscular neck, he's going to have big veins kind of popping through. Alrighty, now we move on to the Wolverine tropes. All of a sudden you're going to say to yourself, let's do a dry brush effect here. You know what, I'm going to take a moment. And the clock is still running. Grab myself a paper towel. And oh yeah, that's much better. Get some dry brush action. This is done by getting rid of most of the uh, most of the ink on the bristles so it's practically dry and it leaves a really streaky effect, which coincidentally, look at that, makes for some great fuzz. Okay, now we'll load this up. What are we doing? 718. Alright. It's really kind of... Great thing about drawing a character like Wolverine when I have such a time constraint is if I mess it up and he looks ugly, great. We got the big sideburns here. And the giant feral kind of waves coming off. Now there's still a lot of ink on my brush, but if I press very, very lightly, I can get that dry brush effect and then just gradate out. And now we really soak it up. And this will fill in the larger areas. Starting to look a little bit more like a Wolverine here. It really increases snarl. He's not quite savage enough for me. Uh, 8.50, we have just a bit of time to do some uh, hatching. Not quite enough time to add gray tones with the Copics. I brought them out just in case, but um, the same effect can be achieved by just doing some hatching here. 
And of course the final touch, he is hairy. What are we at? 921. Alright, one final little touch just because we have the time. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Some big gobs of spit coming out of his mouth. Uh, not too much though. 945, uh oh. Emond 2020 stop. There you go, ladies and germs. 9, 56, and 31. This has been your favorite characters. Oh, uh, I'm kind of cheating now. I shouldn't have just rubbed on that. Your favorite characters drawn in 10 minutes or less. There we have it. Wolverine, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, if I had more time, if, hypothetically, I had more time, I would go ahead and add certain details into the hair uh, like this. That is, of course, if I, if I had more time, because I certainly wouldn't want to be accused of, uh, of cheating by adding a halo in the hair after the time has expired. That would make me a, uh, a cheater, wouldn't it? Good thing you're watching the master of shenanigans who isn't above that sort of thing. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, stay tuned next time. Please remember to like and subscribe. Also, if you wanted to uh, add a comment as to who you would like to see drawn next, the only thing I ask is that you pick kind of a mainstream character. Not because I don't like drawing other characters, but the mainstream ones, but I do kind of want this channel to get, to get caught on. And if you mention like, oh, I want to see a drawing of Dr. Druid, that's not exactly going to be the clickbait I'm looking for because who cares, right? But uh, here we go. Thank you very much for tuning in and we will see you next time.